Yo, yo, check this out. this out. Previously heard. Previously heard. Good Hope FM. Let's go. Come and sing a let go. Celebrate rating all things local talent. This is Spotlight SA. Exclusive to the hit city. Where we from? Proud of our roots. And that sweep was well selected with the vocals of Jimmy Nevis in that one because the track we're speaking about today is has got Jimmy Nevis in it. It's the lead of a brand new album released by DJ Kosher. Joining us in the building. What's yeah, up? Yeah. Hey, man. I Thanks feel really bad for being excited about this music right now because your life has been tumultuous over the last few months. What the hell? Which voodoo has been voodooing you? What <laughs> we're happened? There, we're there, we're there. Ach, we, um, it's been a rough few weeks, but you know... Makes this week better, so we're good. Okay, yeah, so thanks. you've had some really interesting events happen in your personal life. Um, yeah. Don't know if you want to mention any of them. Is it worth mentioning? Yeah, Could of course. Just... I mean, I mean, it, it happens, I guess. So yeah, my 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 lovely house caught on fire and it uh, burnt down, and we're okay. Um, the, 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 then uh, I don't know. I guess part of the trauma, the do- the dog ran away. A puppy, not puppy, just a dog. Yeah. Beautiful puppy Troy. Uh, we found him three days later, thank goodness. And yeah, a couple of other things went a little bit array that week. But like wine on a laptop that destroyed wine on it. A laptop, not my wine, but my laptop destroyed it. And then I had T minus twelve hours to get a new one yes. <laughs> with all my music, thanks to iQuick. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what a legend, Michael. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. He stayed up. He burned that that midnight. Oil. Most Oil, people yeah. uh, don't ever manage to recover laptops and hard drives and things, but yeah. you, you manage, and I'm really, really proud of you. Very and grateful. Yeah, things are fine, but yeah, it makes this week better, and uh, next week's going to be even better, so we're good. I don't know who you made angry in this last <laughs> couple of weeks or so, but we'll come after them. We're here for a really good note. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the album was released about two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, second of November yeah. also. Yeah, yeah. Released the album, um, Certified Volume 2, um, and such a great uh, collection of music. Uh, you've led with the track that we're going to play now today with you and Jimmy. And there's quite a lot of history behind I Want to Dance with Somebody in just your repertoire for your live performances as well. And you and Jimmy have got a great chemistry on stage with this track. Yeah. Um, why did you decide to lead with this one on the album? Mm, I think it's just such a powerful song. Obviously, such a uh, I'm so honored to be able to collaborate with Jimmy Nevis um, in the first place. Um, it was why always, he's just such a talent and like you know it's uh, I still have to pinch myself every now and again that we like friends. He comes to my yeah. my, my parties and like we <laughs> travel together. It's like he comes to my he's, house. <laughs> he's uh, he he's amazing. He's a very talented guy. I like um um I sometimes I have to just remind myself. You know, sometimes I hear him singing Happy Birthday and it's like a bit off and I'm like nah. But then when he gets in the studio, it's he's he's unbelievable and on stage being able to share the stage with him and learn from him as well it's been amazing um yeah our live shows have been really cool um we do a kind of collaborative mashup sort of set Vibe, and it's, it's yeah. our take on um yeah I, I play a selection of either my own music or music that i like to play in my in my dj sets and then he sings either his own songs or like r&b songs or some britney or whatever. there's a whole mm. bunch of stuff and through that experimentation we we landed on um i want to dance with somebody as a, as a song that he would sing over a pretty chilled like progressive house track that yeah. I had and for, for, for a few for a few performances we did that and it was great and then I don't know I just had the idea like let's do this as a let's do it as a proper cover yeah. um, and that's where it came from that's so beautiful listen he's such an incredible session vocalist as well because he can stand in a room with the band around him and, and he can play vocally quite well yeah I got a story this will blow your mind okay yeah. let me, I'll be quick so the very 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 first time I recorded Jimmy I mean I was like nervous but we were doing it and I was like mom, mom, I, I didn't Jimmy's want to be, yeah, come on, I didn't want to be too like you know I'm quite I, I'm quite a hands-on producer so anyway yeah. so he does he does a take or two and then I'm like hey I don't think that was 100% do you want to like do it again and he's like no 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 let's keep recording so like we're recording harmonies then we record a channel underneath and he like sings another weird like note and I'm just like hey bro What's like should we do that one again and he's like no no keep it rolling so we add 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 like seven layers later he's got this like most immaculate 15 part harmony that's like <laughs> touching all these spots that I didn't know existed and like the thought that he knew that from the beginning was amazing and like yeah. since then I just kind of like give him his trust space him. in the studio yeah, we, mm. there's a trust there's a trust I think it's a it's a beautiful thing but yeah his, his talent is remarkable and yeah I'm very grateful to work with him Whitney Houston's an incredible artist so taking a song like that and being able to turn it into something you just sound so up uh, Jimmy's alley and so ladies and gents let's take a listen to this track it's the leading one of the brand new album from DJ Kosher a collection of tunes that uh, some of them may be very rare Radio friendly, and some of them are just a love passion projects that he really wants to expose to the world. This is the leading single. It's called I Want to Dance with Somebody, the remix. Take a listen. Celebrating all things local talent. This is Spotlight SA, exclusive to the Hit 30. It's dope. 
It's really, really dope. I dig it. You know what it is? I'm, I'm imagining weddings here in Cape Town with the aunties on those <laughs> dance floors doing their thing, singing along to that track. And he's such a great collaborator on the song itself. And you two have a great chemistry with the song, even live. Yeah, I'm uh, really honored to work with Jimmy always. And um, yeah, we do bring the best out of each other. And uh, um, he challenges the process. He challenges me. So yeah, it brings out the best. And yeah, he's definitely, definitely great to work with. And yeah. Awesome. Let's talk about the rest of the album itself. Yeah. Um, Certified Volume 2. Uh, this is obviously the lead single of that uh, album itself. And the one that you really are are sending it off into the universe with. But what else is in there? And what what is the thing that I suppose for you as an artist is the thing you want people to notice? Because obviously mm. you've got a commercial career to manage. You want to get the stuff that's on radio and all yeah. of that stuff's out there. What's TikTokable? <laughs> but what about the other stuff? What are you proud of? Well, yeah, I think the, the, the biggest thing, the biggest difference, the biggest notable difference in the album is that there's a lot of original tracks there um, I am a songwriter I work with songwriters we do put out original music and I, and I mean my previous single before this like last year was this original as well but obviously I'm getting a little bit in that niche of covers so and I don't want people yeah. to think that that's all I do so yeah the originals is an opportunity to express myself um, and also jumping around with genres I mean there's two drum and bass tracks in the album <gasps> my um, favorite genre I'm ADHD <laughs> as hell so I listen to drum and bass at work yeah so I, I like that's just experimental but lots of fun and it's just a chance to just really I don't know just really express myself so the album was a collection of that as well as a a, a couple of older songs that I've just never had a the right time like timing wise to release them and mm. put it out there but I'm still very proud of them it's a couple of collaborations and features mm. and stuff um, great new artist Rob Clark's on there um, I've got a, a, a track I love with Amy Jones a couple of other um, features here and there I've got a, a collaboration with Jan Close who's a Grammy award winner I mean mm. there's there's a some some great stuff in there and um, yeah, I'm very proud to have like sort of found that sound but also to play around with sort of other yeah. in the other realm yeah. but if, if anyone is trying to look for it on Spotify Please note that there was a bit of a glitch there, and we it hasn't appeared yet on Spotify, but it's everywhere <gasps> else. Apple Music, Google, YouTube, whatever. And if, if anyone only uses Spotify and they can't find it, I've, they can go to my Instagram. There's a free link on my bio uh, to a SoundCloud link, which is the full album, completely for free, up until we get the Spotify thing sorted. So people can go check it out, completely for free. Uh, the link's in my bio. Stunning. Go check it out. DJ Kosher. It's 28 minutes away from 12 o'clock on the Good Up FM Hit 30. We're right in the center of Spotlight SA, where we put a spotlight on some of our favorite local artists and what they're up to. DJ Kosher's in that spotlight today with his brand new album release, Certified volume two it's already out and as he mentioned go to his socials uh, find that link in bio on his instagram and you'll be able to listen to it on soundcloud if you are a sole spotify listener as well too and they'll solve that glitch very very soon let's talk a bit about the music side the business side of music um and uh, you mentioned this idea of doing a lot of covers uh, as well too i know you want to experiment with your own stuff but we really have seen 2023 has been this year of people trying to lean into nostalgia lean into these opportunities to recreate things that were really big we in initially assumed as the hit 30 that this was lazy production a lazy way of producing music because we know it's going to work we need to make commercial success there's lots of competition go with what works and nobody was creating anything original we were getting a bit irritated with the music industry in some way but then somebody whispered in our ears and said you know it's in the world the zeitgeist is that of nostalgia we want to be feeling nostalgic we want to revisit the past yeah. i think we're feeling a little bit like the world's gone too far let's come back to what we know is really beautiful and good what's your view on this whole remixing thing as djs mm -hmm. and and going back to what you know worked in the past as a lazy way of producing yeah. music so i don't view it as lazy i view it almost almost like more of a challenge you're you're competing against an already successful song like you have to so you're not trying to make a better version you're trying to you're trying to honor the, the existing original so i mean for example, I can say Sound of Silence was like a song that really touched me. I like, I love that song. And that it was quite daunting to try and make another version of it. Like, I'm extremely proud of it. Um, and I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say lazy. But it's the same thing like when I was a child, I used to learn how to play guitar. You're not learning on originals. You're learning, these are songs that have a special meaning. So um, I learned at a young age that um, I could have my own version, my own style of a song that I like. And it's my own interpretation. And it's a chance to share that. I would say that there, there does seem like a tiny bit of laziness out there, but at, at the same time, like you're trying to be accessible. There's nostalgia. You know, these big DJs, David Guetta has been doing a lot of um, covers and well, I guess remixes or whatever they are, um, but they're brilliant and they've been, they've been huge songs. And um, I guess what he's saving on maybe of the songwriting effort, maybe he's putting a little bit extra into something else. So maybe, um, maybe it's for the better. Don't know. 
I get it. I think the artists who have sat in that seat that you're sitting in now have told me the same story about like, you know, this, these songs really mean a lot to the artist. And so being able to work with them in this way and bring their own flavor to it is a challenge and in some way is an ode to what that song means to them as artists. But yeah, I think there is this sort of sense that we're desperate for uniqueness, something to stand out, someone to show us a new way, for example, and just to create something that's out there. And, and I'm glad that in this album there is some original work that you're putting out there because it gets a chance for you to show that, hey, you can create other world class sounds you don't have to take what you already know just change the chord progression a little bit like yeah. bring the tempo down a bit and add a new vocalist and then suddenly it's a new song you get to actually just experiment and I think like painters and fine artists and musos have to like dream up new things nothing in the world is truly new but they dream up new things you like suddenly you got that dun, 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 dun. It's like, well that's interesting how do I translate that and yeah. you build music that to me is the art of creativity this other stuff feels commercial yeah for sure it's like purely about the business side of just creating it's easy to create something that you know exists already you know it works there's something about it that appeals all I need to do is add my own flavor to it so how much of the album is split between original and and, and so there's two covers um, one remix and then the rest okay. are all originals so seven originals okay. um, the, but the remix is of an original anyway so I guess that's half half so you guys can okay. figure decide what you want there but um, yeah like I do agree completely with you and I think that's part of the challenge um, and you just want to be authentic as an artist like I mean if people watch me DJ live I'm not DJing my own music I'm often DJing others it's, but it's my interpretation of that and as, as a DJ I try to be accessible and nostalgic and, and it's the same sort of skills that are portrayed in my production uh, or the, that same sort of angle um, but absolutely yeah, there, there is a challenge and it's important that we don't get complacent and just yeah. sort of just like copy paste stuff and yeah DJ Kosh is in Spotlight SA today on the Hit 30 uh, I must ask my last question about the business side of music um, in this December period, how much does these live performances now over the summer, December period contribute to your overall annual finances? Like, yeah. How much of this period <laughs> matters for the, the, the over year money making? I mean, proportionately, it is massive because um, it's not just these live performances. Also, I mean, I do a lot of weddings, I do a lot of corporate gigs, a lot of events, uh, club residencies, club, uh, you know, guest gigs. gigs. It's, just, it's just a whole lot. Um, so it's just important to capitalize on it and, and be aware that winter does get quiet. Yeah. If you were to put um, a percentage to it, is it like, does it make up like a good 50% of your yeah, earnings in the year? From I'd say from no, uh, November through to the end of February, those four months probably equate to about 65% of my oh, income. Yeah, probably okay. around there. So if you're a new artist and you're making your way into the industry, you've also got to start thinking of yourself as a business and recognizing that there are periods where you're going to have to be all out. And like tell your friends and family, can't see you. No one talk to me. I'm busy. <laughs> like this is season to make all the money that, that happens yeah. so where, where are we going to be seeing you gigging over this period where can we spend some time enjoying the new music from, from the album yeah. um, look there's a lot of events happening um, I mean people I think the easiest way is just to follow my socials because um, there's just something different every week um, I don't have any sort of residencies or regular events besides um, a couple of local local spots so people can see it all mm. um, there are some events happening um, and also a lot of private stuff which I'm very grateful for I'm private to be flown around uh, sorry I'm very grateful to be flown around for these yeah. private events and birthdays and weddings and, yeah. and, and little like you know big events even but um, yeah public events I'm always um, loud about it on my socials and people can just come and Come and check it out. Mm. I don't know whether this is too soon to say, but I'm looking forward to seeing you bring the house down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the roof is on. Yeah, it's that's a bit terrible. Soon. For those of you who just soon. tuned in, uh, uh, when we just started chatting to DJ Coach, he told us about the tumultuous last two weeks he's been having. Shame. This guy's house has burned down. His dog ran away and found it three days later. Someone spilled wine on his laptop and like crashed the machine. This man has had a rough couple of weeks. So uh, I hope I hope that you managed to burn the house down, but in a good way on those club floors. <laughs> Make all the money that you need, Coach. And we're very, very excited to see you back with some new music in 2024. Thank you. May this music resonate with people. May the new sounds that you're creating um, and the new music that you're putting together really inspire people and get those booties wiggling on those dance floors and we'll see you over this festive period and we'll follow you on the socials any of your favorite platforms we should follow you on I'd say I'm probably most active on Instagram obviously it's, it's at DJ you're a millennial Kosher. of course you are well I mean I'm still tapping into the TikTok I don't know I haven't even installed it yet uh, so yeah Instagram at DJ Kosher Kosher's obviously with a C and then um, like Spotify if you don't follow me on Spotify and Apple Music um, that's where all the music goes but yeah everything kind of filters through Instagram <laughs> hey uh, uh, where, where's the goth B Come over here. <laughs> I, I, when when Kosha walked into the building, um, we were busy. Uh, Delusha had loaded something on TikTok, um, and I don't even know how to use bloody TikTok. And she's tagged me in a post. Gothby, you're also a millennial, aren't you? I am. You're a millennial. Do you, know, do you know how to use TikTok? I do. How do I find out where somebody's tagged me in a post? <laughs> 
Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, you see, <laughs> this is the thing. We're such old people. We need we need delusions in our lives, and not even she knows of, of this result. Anyway, Kosha, we're going to send you on your way. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for the support and all the listeners. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Looking forward to it. The album is out. Uh, so go, please go check it out. Certified Volume 2. It is not currently on Spotify because of a Spotify glitch. Uh, and so we'll solve that very, very soon. But it is on all your other favorite streaming platforms. And if you are a avid Spotify user but do still want access to the music, go and find it on um, his socials. Go to follow him on Instagram, DJ Kosher with a C. Uh, go and find the link in his bio there. And there's a link to SoundCloud that has all the songs listed there for you one by one. And they're leading with the track with Jimmy Nevis. Uh, I want to dance with somebody. What a great remix of some tracks that we love the most here on Good Hope FM. Thanks for joining us uh, on Spotlight SA. Thank more you so much. next week. Feel it for more. For more. Tune in to goodhopefm.co.za.